It is 10.40 in the morning on whatever this day is. Wednesday, I think. Wednesday. It's supposed to rain around 3, so I got up early. And I just finished my second batch for the day. So it should all be cured enough before the rain comes. This is my final shape on this. And actually, I kind of want to fuck with it. Uh, this. Anyways, I'm going to mess with that a little bit after the video. Because right there, it's a little bit low. And now's the time I can prop it up to get it right where I want it. So anyways, I finally got this arch mortar on this whole arch here. And um, the shape is mostly how I want it. Just going to fine tune it. And then got a whole bunch more on the ceiling here. A whole bunch there, and then also on, uh, I got the third coat on the rest of this over here, and I started on the facade section, though I messed up this section because I did the mortar before I got the lath up, and anyways, this section I did, I did correctly, so this is the, how the facade is going to look on top, so it's going to have those those double arches and then it's going to have this vertical thing here which at some point I might um, put crenellations on top of that but that'll also add a lot of extra support because it'll be two horizontal pieces of rebar so that lath will continue along the length I was just getting some getting a start getting it on there getting the first mortar on this arch here and kind of in the alignment that I want with all these things temporarily holding it and um second coat over here and that is everything for today there's some new news the town has sent a letter and threatened basically the destruction of all of my property and um one of the consequences of that um is that i'm not going i was thinking i was going to perhaps delay some of the facade projects um, just to keep a lower profile but now that that's happened I'm going to just go ahead and do do the facade projects and turn the castle into a monument to start kind of um, appreciating in the minds of the people who see it but uh, that's all the mortar I can do for now it should all cure before the rain hopefully this is an interesting place. I there was like a no lath here, and I used a whole bunch of pieces of small pieces of scrap lath, just placing it on top. I didn't even tie them in; just place it on top of three mesh. Actually, you should probably be able to see it underneath pretty well. Or kind of. Yeah, you can kind of see that there's like I don't know, a bunch of little pieces of lath in there. Anyways, you probably don't really care, but. Just uh, every once in a while, see, because the lath is on the outside of the remesh instead of everywhere else it's on the inside. But um, anyways, yeah, that's all for today. For the remesh, I'm just going to uh, probably secure more lath onto the ceiling parts today, both for the facade and here. And that's all for today. It's the end of the day Thursday. It's a bit uh, dark, it's already past sundown, but uh, I got last on almost all of the rest of this ceiling. There's just a couple little holes there I gotta do, and I haven't fastened all of it with the wire ties, but I got it all up there, and you can see from up here how this kind of facade thing is going from here over to there and around and um, what I've done here is integrate rebar from that's connected to the new structure to reinforce the the roof of the small tower and then connect it into that facade over there 
so um, that will add a lot more tensile strength. And then once I add the the width of the facade and then the second row of rebar, it'll add a lot more. And then I'll level it when I do that as well. And I think I'll, I will add the crenellations this year as well. Um, and I might even be able to make it level with the facade on that side if I use a laser level, which I might do. But that's all for uh, all for tonight. For the first time this year, the water reservoir is full. And uh, it's actually more full than it's ever been because I put this elbow on, which gives it another couple inches. And the one thing I gotta be somewhat concerned about is it the debris to make sure it doesn't get clogged because that would be a problem. But, um, I mean, some happy fishes can't even see them in there. I'm gonna tear out those leaves now. So I decided what I'd do, because I don't know if there's any debris in the drain line currently, is I took the elbow off. So now the pipe's like two inches under the water. It'll probably suck that leaf in, or it might suck that leaf in. Um, and then that way there can be some high pressure drainage so that if there's any debris in there, it should, um, it should clear it right out. Um, just from the water pressure, any, anything that's accumulated will hopefully flow right out. And that's all. So Sunday afternoon, there's been a handful of batches, I think, since the last video. And you can see that the... The ceiling is almost closed up and I've made a little bit of progress on the facade. Added another piece of rebar there for extra reinforcement. And um, what I did over here is in this little thing between the arches, I put this tire in. And I might end up taking the tire out and it'll just be a hole, or I might just leave the tire in. I don't really know. But it kind of fits aesthetically to have the tire, I guess. And um, these poles there are in lieu of remesh. Those are holding up the lath in a big kind of exposed section where there's no remesh in order to prevent it from slumping. So, uh, once I can finish on the ceiling, on the dome, on the, this part here, and yeah, this facade thing is getting in the way of being able to do this part here, so it's kind of slowing my progress a little bit, but um, a lot on the inside has been done as well, so it was a lot wetter of a coat than I wanted, but... Um, and I guess the camera's a little dirty, but... But yeah, that's how much there is left on the ceiling Sunday. Uh, with a bit of luck, I might be able to get that all closed up tomorrow. So that uh, for the next report, I'll have that one all done and then be onto the facade for the, for the next week. And I've got a whole plan for that as well. But... Uh, this is, this is, um, getting closed up. Here's what that one area looked like, which had those three poles across it. So I was able to put mortar in between them as the lath was held taut. And then once the mortar uh, on the top cures in that position, it holds the lath in place and then can cut free the, um, pipes or whatever they are. And just like all these pipes here, none of them are going to stay in the facade there. It's just holding the lath in place. And so I'll add more lath, or more mortar to connect all that today. And right now I'm just extending the wire ties. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to cover the whole thing by the end of today, but I guess I'll kind of shoot for that as a goal, but it's likely that there will be a part in that back section I won't be able to cover. 
But I'm gonna get as much of this covered and then I'm gonna do some work on the facade, this facade here as well. Which at some point I'm thinking I might put the put OG foundation like stenciled in, painted in on this thing. It'd be a pretty cool big sign that faces the the approach basically. But that's the uh, that's the goal for today. Chickies are hanging out here, and then at some point um, they might learn that they can actually hang out in that. They can perch up in that tire there. But uh, yep, that's all for now. I just noticed that Star is out here with her baby. I think for the first time. And Dino is keeping a close watch. Oh, is that Speedy over there? Speedy, are you out here with your kids too? Where are they? Oh, what's going on? Here we have, there should be five. Oh, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. And then Speedy should have seven. We got seven over here, Speedy. And let me see, five, six, six. Where's number seven? Oh wait, no, there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. All right, well, both of the, both of the girls are out. Dino, be nice to her. Got so many chickens, it's wild. I think all together, counting all the chicks and everyone, I think there's 36 at this point. There was 24, and then those two girls had five and seven, 12 more between them, so I think we're at 36. And what I realized, or the plan, the plan for the temporary plan at least, is to turn this citadel foundation here into the new chicken coop. So I'm gonna chicken wire all the windows and then this whole area, this whole area will be their hangout area. I'm gonna put the laying boxes in this corner here. I might move that water reservoir out of there because it doesn't really need to be in there. But I might just move it over here because there's gonna be, I'll have to put some kind of terrain features in here for them so it's not just one big open space so that different sized chickens or if they're getting picked on they have somewhere to go or something and then the idea is that I'll build their kind of roost or their nest their uh, the ins most insulated area it will be in here where they'll stay at night and um, and when it's cold, basically. So I'm gonna insulate the ceiling of this with aircrete, and then I'm gonna figure out something for the walls and figure out how I can fit 36 chickens in this little area, close it off, insulate it. It's gonna be a uh, project for the rest of the season. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it directly as the next project, but it's on the, it's on the agenda for this year. So it's the end of the day, Monday, and I couldn't fill up the hole, but I got a lot of it covered, and then everything that I was able to do on the outside, uh, because I did that in the first coat this morning, I was able to get a second coat on on the underside, so that tomorrow it'll be pretty stable to be able to go on. And I don't see any reason why tomorrow I won't be able to fill the rest of that. Because I can, uh, should be stable to get up from all sides. And so that's the state of that. And then, um, I haven't worked on that part of the facade yet, but, and then I made some, uh, some progress on the, on the facade, on the arches over here, so mortared in all of this. I'm trying to get a good angle with this sun here. Oh, that's okay. The sun behind there. Um, See, so yeah, I'm mortaring in this arch, getting a lot more uh, mortar on the facade here. 
so that it becomes stable. So right now, like this, if I, it's actually pretty solid now. This morning, if I put, I'm pulling it and pushing it that way. This morning it had a lot of play. Yes, girl, yes, 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 please spare us. And uh, got this second layer of rebar up all the way to the corner. And then there's a good girl, stop. And then there's a good bit of mortar up here. Just getting everything anchored in and getting a start on it. So tomorrow I should be able to make lots of progress on this facade. As well as sealing up that last hole but that'll be for next week's video and that's all for this week we'll close with a shot of the kitty thanks for tuning in see you later